you and I all know why you're here and let's just not beat around the bush. By the end of this video, I assure you, you will know the tools, steps and the mindset of mobile phone hacking using Kalex Linux. We are going to use Metasploit. Before we continue, you need to gear up. Here are the things that you need to have before we go into the video. First things first, you need to have a computer running Kali Linux. It's actually free if you don't have it. It can be through virtual machines or dual boot system, whatever. I'm going to use dual boot system, but you can use it in virtual machines or whatever, all right? Now, if you don't have Kali Linux installed in your computer, just go into their website, kali.org. It is free, you download it, then come back into the video. Second thing that you might need in this video, you need to have any old phone like any of your old phone packed in the cabinet, take it out, let's go test it out, or it can be your normal phone, all right? Now, the third thing that you might need, it is a stable internet connection because you're going to download some goodies. The fourth thing that you need, which is the most important thing, and I encourage you to have this one, it is actually your curiosity and your energy to go into this video and make it happen, all right? Now, before we go straight into the video, why Kali Linux? Like, why do we actually use Kali Linux into penetration testing or hacking? The thing is, think of Kali Linux like a Swiss army knife. It is like an operating system generated or created specifically for hacking, all right? And it is actually lightweight, it is faster, and it has a lot of frameworks or tools that are used for hacking, like Metasploit, Aircrack, Nmap, Barbsuit, and many other things, you name it, they are there. Now, enough with the hype, let's get direct into the video and get our hands dirty. <laughs> Alright, right now I need you to go ahead, fire up your Kali machine whenever you're using it into live boot or into VMware, like virtual machine, whatever you are called, just go ahead and go ahead and launch this little thing right over here, it is called the terminal, whatever you want to call it. Now let's increase the size of the font so you can all see together. First things first, before you go ahead and do anything crazy, I need you to go ahead and make this command center of yours fresh, clean, and ready to rock. I want you to go ahead and type in sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade dash y. I've already upgraded this thing. I've already updated this thing. It is currently updated. Go ahead and do this into your virtual machine or your live boot system, whatever, and make this fresh and clean. Now, right now, we are going to install this one tool, powerful tool, which is actually easy to use even if you're a beginner. It's called Metasploit. I know some of you or many of you have this installed in your computer, but I'm talking to you, my friend, who doesn't have Metasploit installed in your computer. I want you to go ahead and type in sudo apt install. Then after you install, I want you to type in Metasploit dash framework, all right? Now you are done. If you click enter right over here, it will install Metasploit framework and it is already done. Now, boom, you are loaded. You are ready. You are packed. You are logged in. You are ready to go to the war field, to the war zone, whatever you want to call it. You are ready to go there. But before we start moving ahead, head to head, I want you to sit down and listen to this plan of the war field. Okay? I'm here as your commander in chief. Now, listen. What you are going to do right now or what you are going to do next before we go deep into the war zone, I want you to write a simple line of codes. Don't freak out yet. I got you covered. It's not actually codes, but the computer will generate codes for you. And this is actually by coding an APK file, a malicious APK file that you will use or you will put into the target device and you will gain control of the full device. Watch this out. What you're gonna use right now, if you have Metasploit installed, I want you to type a MSF console. This stands for Metasploit Framework Console and it will launch a really pretty UI or interface. Look how pretty this thing is. Nah, it is not. In your case, it can be prettier than this because every time you launch Metasploit, it comes up with new interfaces if you don't believe me, just relaunch your Metasploit framework right now and you will see a new interface popping up, all right? Now, let's go ahead and start making that APK file. First things first, you're going to tell Metasploit to use a payload, okay? Use a payload, I'm sorry. Use a payload and you can name the payload to be Android, all right? This is actually for Android. Android slash Metapreter. Make sure you put this 
right over here payload slash unread slash metapreter all right slash reverse underscore tcp i know most of you are just wondering because here you are telling me metasploit framework a simple explanation for what i've just written over here metasploit use payload and the payload is actually for Android. It will open a metapreter session and it is using reverse.tcp. This reverse TCP it is actually different from bind. There are actually two types of hacking. There is reverse and there is bind. Okay, we'll talk that in the future videos. Actually, here it is gonna bring a lot of confusion. Okay, now I want you to go ahead and press enter. As you can see, this red thing it is right over here telling you it is war zone. We are there in the field ready to fight. Actually. Crazy, right? Now I want you to go ahead and type in options. If you type in options, it will tell you the options right over here that you have or you can play with. Okay, there is actually this L port, and then it is required. Yes, 100% required if you want to have that device. And there is an L port. This is actually the port in which we are going to attack, and it is by default port 444. You can leave it if you want to, or you can change it to some ports like 83 or 443. This is actually mainly posts that are used by websites like google or something like that all right but in this case you can just leave it there is no problem and it is also required if you want to know what to type in the l host it is actually your ip address don't worry you don't have to remember it every time because it can change every time depends on how secure your system is i want you to go ahead and type in if config right now and as you can see at your wlan o because i am using wi-fi you can see wlan o here at inlet here is my IP address. If you are using this by maybe Ethernet, you can go here to FO and you'll find Enet and Netmask, whatever you're using. Like you can copy your IP address right over here. You can close that, don't need it anymore. I want you to go ahead and type in set. You are going to set your L host, all right, into the IP address. You just copy it right over here. Press enter, it is already set. If the L port it is not yet set, maybe to port 444, or you want to set it into another port, maybe the port that you like or you prefer and you know it works. I want you to go ahead and type in the same thing. Just type in L, just type in set L port, all right? And then you can type in any number of the L port you want to attack. Right now, when you type in options, you can see right over here, L host, it is already set to your IP address, which is actually what you need. And L port, it is actually on port 444. Now, what this actually tells it is because when you create this APK file, you are telling it whenever it gets into that Android phone, it will actually look for this L host at this port. That's what you are telling it. Now, right now, you have already programmed a file, an APK file. It's actually really easy doing it in Linux than doing it in Python. I don't know, right? Now, I want you to go ahead and type in generate. Now, right now, we are going to generate this sucker. Generate dash O, all right? Dash O. Now, this will actually tell it generate a file. Dash O stands for a file. I, I, I don't know. I think so. Now here you're going to specify where do you want to generate a file. I want to generate it a place where I can see it and I can access it. If you don't want it, you can just generate it into your root file system actually. So whatever. I'm going to generate it into my home file system, my username of this file system is Kevdine. Then I'm going to name this thing into maybe phone hack. All right. Dot apk. You must put dot apk at the end of this file. As you can see, write in whatever, whatever, whatever by Skevdan. All right, here it is the directory that this thing has been saved to. I want you to go ahead and minimize this one. Don't close it yet. Minimize it. Come back here into your home directory. When you scroll all the way down, you might find something really fishy and really crazy. Phonehack.apk, it is already there. It is already generated, okay? Now, the third thing or the other thing, the next thing that you might want to do in this thing is actually get this file into your phone or your old device, okay? If you are doing this ethically, you do not need any kind of maybe skills to do this. You can actually do this by using your USB cable plugin, send this file and play around, enjoy, okay? Ethical, ethical wise, all right? And that's all we are going to do today. We are going to do this all ethical. But, my friends, I know some of you get freaky. I know some of you want to try something crazier, get their hands more dirtier. 
I need you to watch this video right over here. It will tell you how to put this file into an Apache server. This Apache server is like a web server, like a website that can be accessed into any phone. Click this video, go around somewhere in between the video, I showed you how you can create that server and you can put this file to that server. But in today's video, I'm not going to do that. Sorry. If you are done, let's go and do this ethical. Grab your phone and put that thing right over there. Install it. Run it and we'll be back and I'll show you what to do, okay? Two thousand years later. Now once you are back, I want you to go ahead and you can open any new whatever station. You can open any new terminal station. You don't need to use the previous one. I want you to go ahead and launch MSF console once more because you are going to start a listener which will listen into the payload that you have just put into your Android phone. Stick around, don't skip any part of this video yet. As you can see, Metasploit here, there's a bunny, a very innocent bunny. Promise you, it is not innocent. Let's go ahead. Once you have already opened your Metasploit session, I want you to go ahead and type in use multi handler. All right, multi slash handler. And as instructed, Metasploit, it will do the same thing. Multi handler is already used, as you can see right over here. Now you are using multi handler. What next? you are going to set the same payload that you have set into your Android device. Now, I want you to go ahead and type in use payload. Now, if you remember the payload that you have just put into your Android phone, go ahead and type it down. But if you don't, go back a bit in the video, look at that payload, come back. Anyways, the payload is actually Android. I was just messing with you. Slash metapreter because you want a metapreter station. Crazy, right? Metapreter slash reverse, you're going to do reverse underscore TCP. All right, now right over here, you are done. You can press enter. As you can see over here, it is using the same payload that it has been instructed. Metasploit is actually a good boy, it listens to whatever command you say. Okay, now right now, I want you to go ahead and type in options real quickly and make sure all the options found into this listener are the same options that you have put into the payload that are put into the APK file. English is crazy, guys. I know. Now, I want you to go ahead and set the listener or the hell host, whatever. Set hell host into your IP address. Press enter. I want you to go ahead and set the L port into maybe 44444 or whatever port that you just used into the payload that you have created, okay? You have to do the same thing, the same mail host, the same mail port, okay? Now, right now, it is done, deal done. The listener, it is already listening. Not yet, you have to activate it. And here's the fun part, this word or this word, this phrase, it is actually loved by a lot of hackers and pen testers. And the word is actually exploit. I know you also love it. Exploit, done. If you press enter right over here, you will see magic happening. Because whenever that person opens or runs that file into their phone, you gain a metapreter station. This thing, this sucker right over here, will actually be listening, okay? It will just listen to that little tiny voice that it will come from your Android phone and it will be like, That's what happens whenever you set this listener. Anyways, guys, a disclaimer. Make sure you don't install any untrusted APK files from anywhere. Only do this from trusted sources. Or never do it. You never know. Trusted sources can be compromised also. Now, I know some of you might get a headache installing that APK file into your phone. Especially if your phone runs the latest versions of Android, okay? It will just be like a little bit secure saying that you cannot download malicious apks i know go ahead into your settings disable that thing for example if you disguise this application into maybe an whatsapp or netflix or something like that a person can do whatever it takes in order to get that application running into their device so you can just do go ahead into the settings disable that feature and come back exploit that thing Exploit that sucker. Now, whenever you press exploit and you get a metapreter station, how do you go ahead? Now, that is what's called post exploitation. What do you do whenever you gain access to the device? And I want you to go ahead and type in help. Just one word help. 
and your terminal will give you a list of all commands that you need or that you can use in order to access that phone. It can be webcams, it can be phone SMSs, like it can be contacts, it can be whatever, pictures, are, every single file can be accessed through your computer from your Android phone. Now, as you know, whenever you face any problems, make sure you drop them down in the comments. I'm the only YouTuber in this world that replies your comments within five minutes. Like, whatever, within the first five minutes, I'm the only one who will reply them, okay? So you can actually get into contact with me really easily, all right? So if you face any challenge, comment down below and I'll be glad to help you, assist you step by step in order to reach that phase of ethical hacking and have that relief that you are an ethical hacker. I know, it's actually really crazy, something that everybody's passionate about and to have that energy, curiosity, go ahead, do this thing and enjoy. Now, one thing first, I have a bonus for you and I want you to listen really carefully. At the end of this video, I'll put up two videos on screen and I want you to check each one of those videos. One video, it will tell you how to start an Apache 2 server at your Kali machine and put this app or this APK file into it. That video is actually named as Malicious APK for Android phone, how to hack Android phones using Malicious APK. Click that video, check every step of that video. It is actually the other version of this thing. In this video, we use MSF console. In that video, we use this MSF Venom. Now, go ahead, look that video, how to start Apache 2 server, put this application or this APK file online so it can be accessed anywhere worldwide, okay? In the other video, it is actually how to send phishing emails, phishing attacks, social engineering attacks into anybody, tricking them into clicking any link you want. And you know why? Because whenever you start an Apache 2 server, you get a link. How do you send that link to a person? You need to do phishing emails, okay? You send that email as Netflix, download this free Netflix, whatever, whatever. They click on it, they download the APK file, boom, you gain access into a listener. Game over. I don't want to talk much. In the next video, I will be teaching you how to get anonymous online. You'll be going into ghost mode online. No traces, no anything. Websites won't see you or hackers won't see you. Anybody won't see you online. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you find this video helpful. And if you want to get notified whenever I post that anonymous video, and also you can use it to go into the dark web. I know most of you want to go into the dark web. Make sure you subscribe the notification bell so you can get post notifications whenever i post any new content and make sure you like this video get this video to 700 likes or 1000 likes and i'll post another video if we have a deal catch you in the next one peace out